The appeal of a trout. What is it made up of exactly? Is it the desire to catch the next world record fish that swims beneath us? Is it trying to crack the code of the constant changing behaviors of these pelagic fish? Is it the unknown? Driving and boating into some of the most remote areas in North America where anything can happen at any time? Maybe it's just that you never know what the next fish you catch could look like. A walleye is a walleye, a crappie is a crappie, but a trout is not just a trout. And that's a hard question in which you really don't fully know the answer to. Fishing has always been in my blood. Early days spent on inland waters catching pike, walleyes, and bass burn vivid in my memory. It is what I love the most. Hour after hour, day after day, canoe or 14 foot boat, I was in that seat more than anything else. But perhaps it was the confined shorelines of the inland lakes that left me looking for more. Greater mystery, greater vastness, greater escape. Quite possibly, it's the way in which trout connect us as humans. Lifelong friendships, everlasting memories. Trout bring forth a variable that a lot of other fish what lack, in which going further, trying harder, digging deeper, in there, often makes for more vivid oh experiences that one will remember for the rest of their life. Let's face it. Between the two bodies of water that we fish the most, there are close to 33,600 square miles of water to explore. Who truly knows what could happen or what you could experience out there? The fish itself has no size limit. 120 pound lake trout exist. The memories to be made have no limit either. In our minds, trout are a merciful species which only add to their attraction. Trout have connected us to some amazing people throughout the years. From guide clients, which at the start of the day you don't even know their name, to 10 hours and 30 fish later you feel like you've known your whole life, to incredible friends you never thought you would have who also share your passion. And to cancer patients. Cancer patients who have an end date on life. Cancer patients in which you never dreamed you would have a connection to, or better yet, a positive impact upon their life. Cancer patients who want to experience what freshwater fishing is all about. The following is an excerpt from Carl's story, which we filmed this past summer in the open waters of Lake Superior. Carl had one wish, and that was to go on the ultimate freshwater fishing trip. To us, ultimate doesn't entail being near shore. It doesn't entail experiencing something ordinary. However, it had its logistical challenges as Carl was confined to a wheelchair. If the forecast wasn't exactly how they predicted, we would be in for one hell of a boat ride. But again, fishing near shore simply wasn't an option. Hi, I'm Timmy with the Kitchen Moment Foundation and today we had the privilege of taking Carl out on beautiful Lake Superior, thanks with uh, Grant and Superior Angling. Uh, we take cancer patients out fishing and their families, and days like today you get to experience something that few people on this planet ever get to experience, which is something extremely special. And we're just so privileged to have that opportunity and to give that opportunity to others. Through the foundation, we're able to take out patients and their families with no cost. Everything's covered by us and they get to enjoy the outdoors and get away from whatever they're dealing with and focus on being outside and enjoying their day of fishing. Hi, my name is Carl Anderson. I'm from uh, Ramsey, Minnesota, originally from northern Minnesota. Uh, grew up hunting and fishing pretty much all over the state and in Canada. Diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer in December of last year and they gave me about nine to 10 months to live.
for me, being outdoors, being able to uh, fish and, and hunt is like my therapy. It's where I go to uh, basically to meditate, you know. Like some, some people do yoga, I do, I do sitting in blinds and sitting in boats and catching fish. It's uh, how I get my rest and relax, relaxation. Um, I think it's, it's just good for your mind and your body to be out here, to get out of the house. Enjoy the great outdoors. That's what I've done all my life. We have made it. What a beautiful, beautiful morning, calm seas. I just love getting out here into the remote areas of Lake Superior where you just don't know what to expect in terms of fish. Like there's, it's just a lot of untouched water out here. It's so special to be out here. It's so cool and to have Carl with us today. Like it's, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm excited to see what, uh, what we're gonna catch and you just don't know what the day can bring, but Cold weather, it's crazy to think it's mid-July and it's like, hands are numb right now. We have hats on, 39 degree water temps. Like, it's it's pretty incredible out here on Lake Superior. So we're just gonna idle around, try to grab a couple of fish and then spot lock on them. And again, our plan for today is just to, just to vertically jig up some gorgeous Lake Superior lake trout out here in the, in the remote waters on some isolated reef structure. And just drop Northland, you know, jig heads and plastics down on these fish and maybe troll a little bit. Like you can kind of fish these fish however you want, but vertically jigging them is, is pretty cool. So let's idle around here and uh, spot look over some fish and uh, get a bait in the water. So I've been in a wheelchair for approximately 31 years. I was injured in a construction accident that fell off a house, um, broke my back. Um, I'd only been married for about maybe 13 months. It was obviously very difficult. Uh, we lived in Minneapolis, my wife and I. We ended up building a house out in Ramsey, Minnesota. It's completely uh, handicapped, accessible. Um, because I was working construction, I retrained as a um, CAD operator, auto, doing AutoCAD, and I've been doing that for the last 29 years for different engineering firms. Um, and. Uh, well, since I've been diagnosed, I've been working at home, so so kind of uh, thankful to have, still have a job, put it that way. You know, but we'll see what happens, which way it goes. Just to get Carl out in the boat today, I mean, someone like, like Carl who, you know, has terminal cancer, right? Like there's a timeline on his life. Like to get him to go experience something like that is so cool. It's just like he'd never experienced that otherwise, right? And for us to, number one, get the day to go do something like that, to go catch trout that just take your breath away. Like, I mean, it's, 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 so, it's so cool. Like words just can't even really describe it. Um, Hit it on the drop. Ooh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Coming up. Here he comes. This is so cool. <laughs> These fish out here are just so beautiful. They're so dark, big fins. Look at this one. That's not a big lake trout, but it's like by far like the prettiest lake trout you'll ever see. How cool is that? Oh, daddy. Beautiful. Look at that dark color, the big, big peck fins on her. Like you're not gonna see a prettier lake trout anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, is that awesome, huh? Colorful. How cool. All right, take the jig head out and go back home. My hand is like numb. <laughs> See down like about 30 feet, can't you? 30, 40 feet. Holy how dark that one is. Hold on, and watch up. I'm on bottom. You're on bottom or in a fish's mouth? I'm on the bottom. No, I'm on the fish's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm on a fish's mouth. One of you guys, I'm falling forward here. This one's bigger. Okay. A little bigger, yeah. He's got a good. He's trying pull. to pull him in. Yeah, he's got a. There you go. He's doing awesome. The air bubbles. Burping. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's, a, that's a beauty. That's a, that's a lean. This is a beautiful fish on a beautiful day with some great people. I'm glad to be out here. This is part of living the life, right? Beautiful fish. Nice green color to them. As a youngster, my dad used to bring us up to uh, Ontario, Canada to go trout fishing and I did a lot of that in my youth. I haven't done much of it in, in my adult life. Um, so to have the opportunity to come out here on Lake Superior and do this with uh, Catch Your Moment Foundation has been really a treat for me. Today we've caught probably over 40 fish and uh, some really nice fish. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Brian's got a fish on. Um, so yeah, the opportunity has been a blessing to me really. Days like today where we get somebody like Carl with uh, terminal cancer like pancreatic where they only think he's going to be here for another few months it's a little extra special because we're able to offer something that nobody's going to be able to take away from us and nobody's going to be able to take away from him and uh, we do have a lot of urgency with these types of trips so if somebody says hey I'm you know not doing well we try to get them out as soon as possible we booked this trip super fast and arranged things and weather didn't cooperate early in the week and Everybody in this whole group adjusted their schedules to make this work because it was so important to all of us. And I think that's super important. And, and I think that made the trip even better. Ooh, there we go. Oh. And now I, I gotta go, guys. I gotta, I've got a fish on. Uh, this is a nice one too, so. Oh, we'll see if we can bring it up. Can you neck that one? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a thrummer. <clears throat> nice tough fish on here. This is what it's all about being out here <laughs> catching fish. And fishing with a bunch of professionals. I'm a rank amateur, so when it comes to these guys. I'm up slow so they don't, so we can release them. Oh look at him, he's coming up on the screen. Look at, Put that on the end of the phone. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, fatty. Don't do that. 
Mark. Come on, hurt your lungs. Ah. That's what it's all about right there, guys. Beautiful little fish there. Good fighter. Deep cold water, about 65 feet down. Hit my jig. Yeah. That's all I can say is amen. <laughs> all right, back to the lake. One, two, three. <sighs> You know, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's cool to see a, a guy like Carl just be able to experience something like that. You think someone like that who essentially like has a, you know, a timeline on their life, like it's just so imperative to, you know, enjoy your final months or days or years or however long you got left, you know, and for us to be able to be a part of, of this special day for him and, you know, you know, just, We've done a couple of trips like this with, with Tim and then the Catch Your Moment Foundation. And you know, every trip is just so special and so cool and so rewarding. It's just so fulfilling to, you know, be involved in an effort like this just to, you know, better the, the lives of the cancer patients and, and their families. And you know, it's just it's just all around such a cool experience and it just makes that day so much more fulfilling, you know, and going out there like it's just so fun seeing a smile on Carl's face and just seeing him reeling fish after fish. And on the way back in, you know, he even said like his shoulder was sore and had, you know, his like sore arms. Like that's perfect, right? Like that's ex exactly what you hope for. He's, he's a big fisherman. He fishes a ton and, you know, he's caught tons and tons of big fish and fish places that I never have, right? Like he does a lot of cool things, but I think today was, was truly special. Um, you know, it just, it, just to see a smile on his face and just to experience something that, you know, not many people have ever experienced is, is pretty cool. And it's pretty, uh, you know, it's, it's can get pretty emotional at times too. Like it's... I like this lighter rod because they really fight with this thing. This. <clears throat> yeah. Holy crap. <clears throat> oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jim, you're going to have to hold me up on this one. To... Yep. Okay. I got you. If you need Brian with the rod, he'll come over too. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I thought it got off. I ain't making much headway on this thing. I mean, it's he's he's taking drag actually. You're doing great, champ. You are doing great. Yeah, he's taking drag. <laughs> oh, <That's great. laughs> ooh, that's gonna be a danger. Yeah, I got, a, I got the rod. That's still a big fish. That's a big fish. Come on, don't. I didn't want to reach any further. I know, I wouldn't either. <laughs> that is a fish of a oh, trip right wow. there. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. A, look at how he's cut. He's hooked right in the freaking fin. Carl, that was awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Thank you. You did a great job. Great Thank you. Great netting there. Where is he, Brian? Can you see him? In the back of the boat. It's a nice fish. Excellent fish. Yeah. Nice. Oh, great fish, Carl. Yeah, thanks. Okay, 
take my jig back. I'll give you a Wrigley's picture. Perfect. Woo! That's a big one. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one. There you go, Carl. After a day of fishing like this, I'll be spending a lot of time laying down and recovering. This really takes a lot out of me. Uh, but if I have the opportunity to do things like this, I'm going to do them no matter how difficult they are. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I really do. I really enjoy, you know, being with people, you know, that care about me and want to help me and uh, bring me out to do things like this. And fishing is part of my life. That's all I can say. And uh, I don't think we could have had a better day. This is just uh, you know, this is just a memory now. You know, this will be in my mind for you know my rest of my life. Coming out here and catching all these trout. With, uh, with a bunch of other guys. All right. Trout come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and with all sorts of characteristics. And quite possibly, that's why we're so fascinated with them. As fishermen, to us, there are four distinct types of lake trout that we can identify that inhabit different areas all around Lake Superior. Leans, redfins, siscoets, and humpers, which we also call butterfly trout from time to time. All of which can be found as deep as a thousand feet of water on up to two. Trout truly inhabit the whole water column of the greatest lake on earth. However you like to catch them, casting, jigging, fly fishing, trolling, it can be done on Lake Superior. Trout are magnificent creatures that always offer options to the adventure seeking angler. Recently we have put a large emphasis on obtaining underwater video of lake trout and the results have been fascinating. Seeing trout firsthand in their own environment, undisturbed, uninterrupted, without a hook in their mouth, is beyond captivating. Sure, it's fun to catch these fish, but to see them go about their daily lives is absolutely mesmerizing. One hundred, two hundred feet of water, unimpacted by time, oblivious to the chaos of life that ensues above the surface. It's truly here and only here, on these isolated reefs that time stands still. A hundred years ago, you would be seeing the same image you see today. Forests get logged, land gets developed, mountains get mined, the bottom of Lake Superior stays the same. What are some of the coolest things we've seen underwater? How about sleeping lake trout? or a lake trout we hooked with a lamprey on it. Or a lake trout living on such isolated structure where herring and smelt are completely absent, they eat tiny invertebrates living down in the moss at 140 feet.
more we explore, the more our minds are blown away at the majesty of Lake Superior. Along with Lake Superior, there's another lake that has stole our hearts. That's a lot of ice to chew through with a 10 inch auger, but luckily the, uh, the ion here makes easy work of it. And we are using a 10 inch auger because we are out here chasing lake trout. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. I'm really excited for what this snowy day has to bring because we have big potential to see some awesome fish and quite a few of them as well. You never know though, it's ice fishing. Trout through the winter time can be very, very finicky. They can be difficult, they can be tough, but you just gotta come out here, put forth the effort, get after it, and uh, let, uh, you know, let the lake decide what she's gonna give you on a day-to-day -day basis. So our plan for today, again, is to jig for lake trout. It's snowy, it's a little bit cold, a little bit windy. We kind of have our work cut out for us in regards to those conditions, but, uh, we're gonna fish hard and hopefully see some beautiful uh, lake trout. So up here in Ontario, um, you know, it's a, a pretty decent sized lake that we're on here today. So um, there's, there, again, there's big potential. So we're kind of fishing a big flat area. We'll kind of get into more detail about the area that we chose to fish here today. But first, we're gonna get some, uh, some rods in the water, get our Markhams down there, double check our depth, and hopefully it'll be uh, too long before we see a fish. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. Get the Markhams in, in the water. Check our depth. Hopefully we get some good depth. Like Grant mentioned, we're fishing a large plot here next to a few reefs. Hopefully uh, find some lake trout. Just gonna double check our depth. Got around 50 feet here, which is kind of what we're going for. It's kind of like our go-to depth for lake trout in the winter. Not too deep, not too shallow. Got a plenty of room for the fish to swim. Uh, they're pushing smelts up onto these flat and they're chasing them around. All right, here we go. We found some good depth. We made it out here, we got our holes drilled. Now it is time to catch a fish. So what we're using today are bigger tubes. Now this is a, a tube from Northland Fishing Tackle, new for this year. And a couple of my favorite aspects of this tube are number one, very, very strong hooks. Like you cannot bend these things. Big lake trout have very hard mouths. You need to set the hook really hard to try to, you know, drive those hooks home and land that fish. So if you have a, a hook on a tube that, that's bendy, it's a lot of times it's gonna come off when they shake their heads. So a strong hook is imperative. And also another aspect of this tube that I really like is how it hangs 
a little bit more horizontal. A lot of tubes on the market hang vertical and you work them in a vertical aspect. I can work this vertical, but I can, this also kind of darts a little bit horizontally out since it hangs like this. So I kind of bounce it and it kind of swims around a little bit. So they come pre-rigged also with a stinger hook. The lake that we're on here today only allows one hook. So we took the stinger hook off, but uh, you know, this is a kind of a braided wire that uh, is very, very durable and uh, you know, has an awesome stinger hook capabilities if you're on a lake that allows it. So um, we're gonna get this down in the water. We have that paired up with a 42 inch Apex Predator CCI rod from St. Croix with 20 pound braid, 17 pound fluorocarbon leader. Like this is a, this is a big stick, right? This is what you want to, uh, to land those big fish. And there's, there's good potential here. So um, yeah, let's just get this in the water, start jigging away, and hopefully we're gonna see a fish. I am excited, it's snowy. We're out here all alone in the middle of nowhere. This day can, uh, I'm excited for what's to come. Some trips, you catch numbers of fish. Smaller fish, but numbers. Great for filming, great for the overall morale, and just fun all around. And on other trips, you target giants. Risky, fail 90% of the time. You know the potential is there, but you have to make every bite count. And every few years on trips like these, a fish comes into your life that redefines your perceptions of scale. A fish of your dreams, a fish you prepare for, but one you can never foresee. Fish! That feels good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come on, baby. Stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. Stay buttoned. Oh, oh my gosh, my reel is frozen up. My reel is frozen up. Oh, that's a big fish. Look at that thing, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish. I can't do anything right now. He's just going to the bottom. That's a big fish. My heart is going. I can't lift this thing. I can't lift them. We have a 10 inch hole. And then it's gone. Oh man, to lose a fish of that caliber, I mean, it's just, it's just true heartbreak. I mean, you just work so hard to get out here. And the time, the energy, and you fight a fish for two or three minutes. That's, I mean, it just has you pinned right here and you can't even lift your rod. Like, you just gotta keep jigging away and hopefully something else is gonna come. I mean, it's a good sign that, you know, big fish are in here and, you know, that I mean, a huge one. So there's, there's got to be a couple more around, but it kills you. It breaks your heart, so. I'm underpowered at this point. I'm using the Apex Predator CCI by St. Croix, and this is a workout already. Just with holes, I was dropping down, just kind of getting squared away, and <laughs> my reel's freezing up. This is a nice fish. All right, buddy, hopefully you can get her in because we still haven't seen that first fish of the day. And I, my morale is uh, pretty low. Hopefully you can see this thing. Not at the leader just yet. That's Starting to make some ground. Big head shakes on this fish. It's already gone on a few runs. He came flying off bottom, wasted no time. That's the thing about lake trout fishing. I mean, it's by far the hardest type of ice fishing you can possibly do, but every fish is so rewarding when you can see them, and hopefully we're gonna get this one topside. We're, we're in a location where it's very opportunistic fishing. 
could go two hours, three hours, not, not a single mark on your, your screen. And when that fish comes on your screen, you have seconds to react and get ready. Cause if it hits, you're, you're in for a world of fight. And there's your leader, bud. There's the leader. What's best when the fish is right at the hole here, just kind of hold it steady. Don't try to reel, don't force it. The fish will slowly align itself. Especially these big fish, huge head shakes, they can hit that tube on the top of the ice and knock it off. Your water's bouncing good. There's some good air bubbles. That's a good sign. That's a, those are all signs of a, hopefully a decent sized fish. Big bubbles, we like to see that. I haven't seen the fish yet. <laughs> Look at those head shakes. It's just a game, man. He's just right at the bottom of the hole and each head is head shake is displacing my rod like 12, 14 inches. Feel heavy though? Yeah. Feels good. He's right at the hole. This is the hardest part about ice fishing is just at the hole. Especially big lake trout like this, the head shakes, they're so powerful. And the ad, there's four feet of ice and it. Here he comes. There he is. That's a boom. He's coming. That's a big fish, Eric. Oh my, Eric, do you know what you just caught? Look at that fish! <laughs> Look at that fish, Eric! Let's go. That's a nice fish. Eric, I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> no, me neither. Wow. Unbelievable. On that Northland tube. Here, take your fish because. Here, let's just watch her gills. Hold her under her belly right there, just yeah. like that. That is massive. And that's how you start the day. <laughs> my morale is back up a little bit. That's a huge, huge, huge fish. Look at the fins on her. Let's get this fish back in the water. Yeah, you got a giant, man. Huge fish. This is why you need to be geared up, like 42 inch heavy rod, the Apex Predator. I mean, you can't lift this fish. No. I mean, it's just, this is as intense as ice fishing gets and it can be heartbreak, which is down here, or it can be like pure celebration, like you're high on life up here, whether this fish will fit through a 10 inch hole or not. Like, that's what it comes down to, I mean, so many things are against you in this scenario. Like reels freezing up, hooks popping out, like everything's against you, right? Yeah, now it's loose. There's nothing easy about getting a big trout through the ice. But it's so rewarding when you do, but it's so like exhausting when you don't. No, you can't, you can't move them. Buddy. What do you have? <laughs> this, this is uh It's Moby Dick. This is a giant, giant. Loch Ness. Yep. Not your drag. I mean, you come out here and you catch one fish of this caliber a day, like your day's made. Like you get this in, you and Eric can go, go back and relax. I'll be out here freezing, trying to get my big one. <laughs> I think I see you shaking. <laughs> you could probably see my knees shaking if I didn't have these this Eskimo gear on. It's like when a big buck stepped into your shooting lane, man. Oh. I, oh. Jeez. Oh, I don't like that. Your water hasn't even started bouncing yet, so like you're not, you haven't got that close yet. And we're on like a, this is probably a five, six minute fight already in shallow water. He's, like. Look at that. I, I cannot. Dude, that sounds like a tuna. Like, that's like what tuna do. You hear that drag? He just took out. <laughs> he's on bottom. Oh, he's, he's on bottom. Yep. It's just so nerve wracking when you have such a big fish like this on too, because watch, he's going to go again. There's leader. Yep, leader. Nope. Look at that. Nope, he's going Look bottom. At that. The sheer power, the sheer power, man. That's incredible. Isn't it isn't ridiculous. Like I mean, I, I can't, I couldn't stop him if I tried. No, no. He's just, he's gone. No. Yeah, and I mean, this lake trail fishing through the ice, man. Like you hook a fish of this caliber, like there's nothing better. 
<laughs> I can't watch. I can't watch. All right, so we're just gonna take our time here. With That's the so bottom much of the tension. I yes, we're using ten-inch holes, so we have that on our side, but. It's still such, it, it takes a lot of luck to get these fish up through. Oh my gosh, I see his head. Holy cow. Nick, you almost got him started. Look at the bubbles come up. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. my gosh. Kneel down, yeah. you gotta see what you just caught. <laughs> Look at that fish, Nick. Take his tail, take his tail. Yeah. That is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, buddy, I'm so yeah, happy dude. for you. Dude. I'm so happy for you. Dude. It is massive on the Northland tube. Look at that, just come out. He was, that's why you need a solid hook like that. Like, that's yep. why you need a solid hook, because that would have bent. He was barely hooked, but that solid hook of these Northland tubes got him pinned in top side dude that is massive i am so happy for you what a fish what a day this is unreal dude. there he goes dude unbelievable my hands are just torched that's that's a fish of a lifetime like that's a that's a fish is, of many lifetimes and to say you caught that through the ice on an ice rod in a tube like to catch that fish trolling would be like remarkable to catch that on an ice rod in a tube and watch them on your mark them come up and eat like you can't even describe it yeah. and he he came in hot he came in smoking hot and just hammered it he could just crushed it for you to experience that like you can't even describe it you, like really like you can't you can't and the luck to just get a fish of that caliber for sure hooked stay I pinned I up to the hole yeah. is yeah and top side yeah <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He came flying off bottom. This fish is running. Wow. Straight back to bottom. This came, I was jigging about 10 feet off bottom and he came flying off bottom. I had a half a second to get ready and react. Buddy, number two for you. Number two. Let's hope we get it in. The conditions are just getting more and more nasty. A little more wind, a little more snow. It's hard to formulate some words when you're battling these fish because you're so yeah. focused. Yeah. They're head shaking. They're going on these runs. It's find a Snickers bar and eat it right now because it's going to be a while. I thought you prefer Kit Kats. <laughs> Canadian Kit Kats. You can't beat them. See ya. And I just tighten that drag tighter just to kind of see if I can get some ground and doesn't matter how tight that drag is. Look at that. That's crazy. I'm trying to answer you. I'm just <laughs> staying focused. I'll do the commentating since I can't catch them today. <laughs> you and Nick can catch them. I'll yeah. just commentate. I was jigging 10 feet off bottom. It ruined 50 <laughs> feet. I was between like 47 and all right. I was about 43 to 40 and it as soon as I marked it coming off bottom, it just shot up like, just shot up at me, wasted no time. And I'm hoping I got some good hook. I got a good hook in it. These Northline twos, what we're noticing in the last two fish is, these are strong hooks and I'm blown away by them. And you really do need them. These are big fish. They're all, their jaws are so strong and it's right around the hole. These big fish, I don't, I don't force, this is the hardest part. I don't force it at all. I hold the rod steady. Oh, 
I let the fish decide. That's a big bubble. The big fish, I can see his eyeball. Jeepers, Eric. Here he comes. You're gonna go buy a laundry ticket. Oh my goodness, Eric. Oh my gosh, Eric. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Another absolute giant, giant lake trout. I mean, Northland tube, right in the tip of the nose. You can see where we took that stinger hook off there. And you're still catching them. What a fish, what a day this is. Unbelievable, here you go, my hands are cold. <laughs> Let's get this big girl back in the water. There she goes. Oh wow, this kid, fish jigging 10 feet off bottom. This fish came flying up, smoked me. Got the hooks in him. Oh wow, what a run. Got the hooks in him. Couple head, like hard, hard head shakes. Hook pop. From heartbreak, drop my line down. He comes charging back for another hit. And he just smoked it a second time. And let's hope I got these hooks buttoned properly this, this second time. After those two first two fish, I didn't think I deserved a second chance. I've, I've had my fair share of fish of a lifetime this feels like a, this feels like another good fish wow holy f oh. Great bass. <laughs> look at this fish wow this is what we came here for unreal this fish has a ton of energy. So much character to this fish. Look at the fins. Look at his dorsal fin. It's all chewed off. Fish, 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 fish. Take and drag. That feels big. That's heavy. That's heavy, man. The madness continues. The madness continues. <laughs> These are big fish. What a day. What a day. What a day. Not much else needs to be said besides wilderness, tough conditions, not to mention how much snow is out here, like your skidoo gets put to work, towing a tub, even drilling a hole is so much work. Like these are extreme, extreme conditions, but you can have extreme, extreme rewards at the same time. Come on, baby. There's leader. We'll stay calm like Eric does. That's a big fish. <laughs> Look at that fish. That's a big one. That's a big one. And the most magic part about all of this is the northern tube. Stinger hook removed, and you're still catching big, big Ontario snowstorm lake trout. They are so pretty up here. It is so much fun. In the true backcountry. It doesn't get any better, man. Let's get this one back. All right, we are gonna jig for about one or two more minutes here and then call it a day. A fantastic day that we've had. It would have probably been my most memorable day on the ice if uh, we would have landed one or two of those big ones we lost. But the fish that we saw, man, like, it's incredible. Like those are truly trophy class fish that, you know, for a lot of people are a fish of a lifetime. And to catch a fish of a lifetime through the ice is, uh, you know, that doesn't even compare to, to pretty much anything else. Like it's it's pretty uh, pretty remarkable to uh, to see that. So yeah, I mean, what a, what a whirlwind of a day. Blizzard conditions, I mean, windy. It's always hard to tell on camera how windy and cold it truly is, but trust us, it was windy and cold, so. 
I'm glad we came out. I'm glad we put forth the effort to uh, see a couple of those truly giant, giant fish. You know, that 40 inch mark for a lake trout, I think is, you know, that's the start of the trophy category. Like that's what you want to see. Those are, I mean, those are, those are giant world-class fish. So, and to see three or four of those like we did today is pretty, is pretty special. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. So there you have it, lake trout of all shapes and sizes, friendships of all forms, memories of all kinds. That is the appeal of a trout.